Niles Brandywine. So a little bit of revenge factor on the minds of the Bucks as we get going here today. And as you can see, a beautiful carpet of grass will be our playing field for today. And here comes an offensive push. One on one with the keeper, knocking it away. But an extra effort will be enough to scoop it up for the Bobcats. A Segundo looking to weave through traffic, taking the low shot. And the keeper, Carly Cowart, able to scoop it up and make his first save for the Bucks. Bucks move up field. And with momentum, they go into the box, continuing to fight through, trying to take a shot. They do. Bobbled in the right hand would be enough to keep it forward. Have a huge uh, twist in the momentum. The cannon is clearly been the more aggressive uh, team in this game. They have, uh, and there's a shot just over the crossbar, looking to get a one-on-one <laughs> -on -one with the keeper. Shot coming off before he could get close enough, but so close. Box will center and draw at the keeper. Hester's the type of player when, when they're when you you know you're trying to get around him, you're not going to be able to knock him off the ball. He's a big, strong, oh, physical no presence. But trying to weave through are the Bucks. Take the shot, and the keeper unable to grasp it. And that's the first goal for the Buchanan Bucks. 34 minutes in, they finally get one through. Still a lot of soccer left to play, but the vibe changes. And another shot, and another one goes through for the Buchanan Bucks. They double up within two minutes. To go up 2 nothing in the 35th. And the Bucks now with speed. Shoved from behind, drawing the keeper out. Still loose, no call. Still pushing, not letting their foot off the gas. And another chance, another shot. That one just up looking for the right. Now Brandywine finished with 13 points. They won the Lakeland Conference last year. Buchanan finishing second in the 14 Conference with 11 points. So Buchanan looks like they will head into the break with a comfortable 2-0 lead. It's a great defensive effort by defensemen for the Bucks as we get underway here in the second half. And especially what becomes more difficult now is with the Bucks being able to, you know, smother a lot of the possession. Having a comfortable 2-0 lead allows them to play even more defensive, which is going to make the, the job of the Bobcats to get back onto the board that much harder. You know, as we travel across the state of Michigan, I always bring up the question, what are, are the best restaurants southwest part of Michigan? And fighting for possession here in the box, taking the shot, low roller, right to clap. <laughs> you know, you think about like December, early December, where it's by 5, 5, 15 in Michigan, it's dark. They're taking a shot for the Bucks, another low to the keeper. Here come the Bobcats, looking to get a shot off. Here's Marshall, winding up, firing, just outside to the right. Came off the touch of the keeper, and the Bobcats will have a corner kick. And it's turned over, now back to the Bobcats. They got speed, approaching the box, it's Marshall. Can he get a shot off? Left foot just to the right. One hand up, fires. Looking for a bicycle kick. Couldn't land it, but a shot still available. And that one will go in in the upper 90. Bucks get a third. Final few seconds in this match. Another shot will be caught by Clap. Keeping the gloves warm, no doubt. And that one will be the final action of our game here at Buchanan Middle School. It's the Buchanan Bucks that come away with this one, a 3-0 victory over their Lakeland Conference rival, Niles Brandywine.